Hello, Hello, welcome to deepest, darkest Spain. This time we are in my hometown, in Valladolid. Yay! Yay. Once again. Valladolid is the historical capital of Castilla y León. Here we are in Campo Grande one of the biggest parks in town in Valladolid and there are some duckies. Mira! Ducky! Well this park is been here in the city for a very long time and with the time they start putting some trees in here, there's a lake and some other things that we're going to show you. Come with us! <laughs> noticeable here that the buildings in Maidalit are a lot more grand uh, compared to cities of the same size and that's because it used to be the capital city of Spain. As Johnny was saying, this is a small city with a big city feeling. Now we are in um, Calle Santiago and all the shops are here. You're not missing anything to be in a small city. So We're here on Calle Santiago where we're out really unassuming building, it doesn't look very interesting, but uh, come with us and we'll show you something a bit, a bit strange. So we're in this commercial centre, it doesn't seem too important, but then you find this little courtyard. It's made of tabas, it's called tabas, but they are little bones, and super, super old, all this building. Never have I been to a commercial centre to find the cloisters of an old church with a floor made of animal bones. So it's almost New Year and we've got to start thinking about our New Year's resolutions. And I think we've both agreed on we're going to start having less beer breaks. Yeah, I agree. We're going to start having wine breaks. Yay! favorite croquetas bar that is called El Cejo, this one. So far we've had some pretty run-of-the-mill tapas. It was nice, but it's not really original. Croquetas, lovely. Patatas bravas, but later we're going to try something very strange. Very unique. I don't know what it is. A perfect example of modern Spain. Dynamic, yet traditional. Oh. to show 
show you on the way to a double place a tiny detail of this Plaza Mayor that is very special. I've never seen anything like it in Spain. Here we are in these tiny streets. You have to pass that. To go in, you find this. <laughs> Plaza Mayor, we find this market, that it was an old market for butchers and fish and all of that, that is rebuilt and renewed to have some tapas inside and people in Valladolid don't get frozen. Now, I'm quite averse to hyperbolic statements, but this the best meat I've ever tasted. It's amazing, it's so buttery and I'm from here, I'm used to this kind of meat. And right next to Mercado del Val we have San Benito. This is another day and as a recommendation, um, if you come to Valladolid, we, you have to go to El Penicilino. Good wine, you will never live there. And today we are in San Pablo, that is this church that is like a wooden retablo but made in stone, that's why it's famous. And it's been under recovery for years and finally you can see it, so it's very nice. a degree you don't have to count these lions if you want to finish your degree if you count those ones you will never find your uh, finish your, your degree never count them just in case I do another thing I know what you're thinking. By the lead, this is a landlocked city. There can't be a beach here. Well, you'd be wrong. So, in conclusion, if you're looking for a place to find fine wine, fine food, and some um, history, we suggest coming here. And that's my opinion, not hers. She's biased. From the first Iron Bridge in Valladolid, we say goodbye. We hope you liked our video. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and see you next time. Ciao de no.